Uh, what's going on, guys? So that's better. <laughs> um, one of the uh, questions that I get asked, and that Gator is very passionate about, my dog Gator. If you guys haven't seen him before, um, who uh, is a puppy? He is. Uh, you hear our other puppy whining in the background. <laughs> But one of the questions I get asked is, um, uh, what's going on guys? So um, one question I get asked quite a bit in my live streams is, what am I looking to do next with my career? And um, I always am thinking about that. Uh, that's sort of the crazy thing. And like, I probably think about it too much um, which frustrates me a lot of times because I'm, you know, if you ever fixate on things in life, oftentimes it's going to feel like you make no progress. But today that's what we're going to talk about is what I'm hoping I'm going to accomplish in my career next. And, um, you know, maybe a little bit of the thought process about how to plan for those things and how to accomplish those things. I want to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've had the pleasure of visiting some of their campuses back when uh, in Provo, and it was a beautiful campus. I, I think they've moved to Lehigh in recent times. But if you're interested in a bootcamp that also provides housing so you can get up and go in web development, QA, iOS development, UI, UX, they got it all. Check them out at devmountain.com. So to sort of set the scene about what type of individual I am and how I'm sort of always looking forward, I'll, I'll tell you a little story. Um, the I took this job, uh, my second dev job ever. Uh, I had one year experience and um, I put in my notice to leave because I, I got offered a, uh, I think it was a 33% uh, pay bump at the time. And so I was like, all right, cool. I'm gonna leave, take that money. And I ended up deciding to stay. I got um, promoted. They had put junior in my title, which sort of pissed me off, but they were gonna pay me more money than my last role. And so I was like, cool. Um, all right, so I got a promotion to drop the junior. And then I also got a 40% pay bump instead of the 33. And I ended up staying. And the reason I tell you this is because I then, so after I accepted the, the um, counter offer, I sat down with my boss uh, who I now nowadays we don't work together anymore, but we play board games together, um, uh, which is always kind of interesting to me. But yeah, um, I uh, when we sat down, I um, I very politely said, you know, I don't want you to think that I'm already considering leaving, but what's next for me? Because I'm ready to get there. I'm ready to do what you know. I get that I just had this major salary increase and promotion, but I'm worried about what's next because that's how I am. And so we had this conversation about what the next steps are, what's their thinking, this and that. And um, is that that's just the type of individual I am. And part of the issue with that is that when you're always fixating on what next, you, you, you sometimes don't conquer where you're at. Um, you know, I always feel like uh, I'm two steps behind where I want to be. And um, which is why, like, <laughs> so I talk with my, my dad and my mom about once a week. And um, I talk to my dad. Every time I'm done talking with my dad, I talk to him about retirement. Because <laughs> to me, I'm <clears throat> the reason I like invest my money, save my money, and do all these things. And, you know, some of you don't know that I have roommates. Um, not because I need them, but because my mortgage, that's like $1,800 a month, I, I rent out two of the other rooms. And I only end up paying for a 3,000 square foot house, like $600 a month um, that's getting paid off early. And so I take that money paid off early because I want to retire early. I want to have no debt. Um, so that's been my sort of outlook on things is always planning for the next step and not procrastinating to get there. And sometimes that, that can be very beneficial to you. So what is it that I want to do personally and in what I want next? Well. Um, you know, although I've been essentially treated as a senior dev for, I'll be coming up on about three years experience, a full time dev experience in September, which is about three months away. Um, and I've been treated as a senior dev and paid as a senior dev for over a year and a half. 
and had the same responsibility. I just got that, you know, quote unquote, senior dev title, um, which is nice, but uh, with it comes more responsibility, all that sort of stuff. But nothing has really changed for me, except it's on paper. And um, I'm at a uh, sort of a, a larger company than I've ever been at before. Now, um, I'm also doing full stack, which is cool. One of the reasons I accepted the role, I wanna do full stack so I can expand those skills. But other than like looking to expand the skills, what I want to do personally is I want to go the next natural evolution for a senior software engineer is two things. Um, and that's either management or a more technical route where you're going to be like a team lead or a tech lead. It's going to depend on the organization, how they structure their stuff. Now, why do I want those things? Um, well, manager aspect, I don't really want that. Um, I would take it, but I don't want that. What I do want is to be a, a team leader, tech lead. A couple of reasons why. Uh, one, I am a money motivated individual. I had a um, CEO I was interviewing once and he asked me, uh, describe yourself in five words. And I said, hardworking and money hungry. And, and from our conversations, like, yep, I got that much. I was like, I knew we can add honest on, on there as well because, uh, but we didn't have enough words. Uh, that is what I want. I want more money. Not because I need more money. I could, my income could drop in half and it would suck, but I want more money because my, my parents are retiring. Um, we're going to have children one day. I want to retire early. I want to travel. I don't want to be inside of a, I don't want to, I want to start my own, own side projects. I don't necessarily want to work for somebody for my entire career. So let's say I won't, but that's why I'm also so passionate about side projects. But more than that is I like learning. I like teaching people and I like mentoring people. What's my dog doing over there? Dog's starting problems with the cat's little puppy. Um, for those of you who don't know, I got a, a two month year old uh, puppy. Um, and so uh, she's outside half playing with Gator, but I want to learn. I, I want to grow and I enjoy teaching. At several times in my life, I've thought about going back to college, not necessarily because I need a degree. I don't. Um, I can interview with pretty much any company, uh, minus a very select few. Without a degree, I've interviewed with Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, and that was before. I've had the years of experience that I have had now. And, um, you know, I work with one of the, I work at one of the biggest companies in, in the world right now, and biggest firms, I should say. And that's not, that's not it. But because I've always wanted to go and be a teacher since I was very young. And it's sort of a disheartening thing because I could go and teach web development today. There's no reason I need to go get a, um, uh, a degree. And I don't necessarily want to teach um, computer science. I want to teach web development. I want to teach something I know. I want to go, at which will probably lead me later on in my career to go and teach at a coding boot camp. That'll probably be something down the road I end up doing when I don't necessarily need to worry about money as much. You know, the average coding boot camp will pay you well, but they can't. You know, they might deal in the millions, in the low millions in terms of revenue, but they can't really compete with companies that deal in the billions. Um, you know, so it's just a simple sort of thing. Uh, but the closer I get to that sort of teaching and learning thing, and that to me is a team lead or a tech lead sort of role, the, um, the more ideal it would be for me. So how am I gonna get there? Well, um, by already doing things that I'm currently doing. Um, educating other devs, giving trainings, giving talks, starting committees, participating in these things, providing direction. And that's really what the YouTube channel is about. Uh, and like why I do my sort of mentoring sessions where uh, every week I do a like one hour AMA. It's not really because I want to talk about myself to answer your questions and provide you direction because that's the most valuable thing because, you know, um, I equate it to uh, you know, most of us, if we've never driven a car before, someone said, can tell you how to start a car. But if you don't know which way of the street you should go on, you could be going against traffic or you could, you know, should have made a right when you 
meant to make a left or should have made a left. And that's what I, I like about being able to share experiences is, is you get to provide direction. And that's something that I, I want to do and something I want to uh, grow in. And in, in sort of a corporate environment, that's a tech lead or team lead role. And so that's what I'm looking for next in, in sort of my career. And, you know, oftentimes people are afraid to share these things. And like, you know, it's a, it's a healthy balance between, um, you know, what you want and being displeased with your current role. And I'm not displeased with my current role, but I'm always looking forward to how my current role is going to take me to my next scenario. And I think that's important, but um, you obviously have to kill it in your current role or you're gonna have, you're gonna have issues. And, um, you know, there is some truth that like millennials and I, I fall into that category at 31 millennials, you know, they want to progress very rapidly. And I think that's okay. I don't think you need to, I don't think you need to say, oh, five years senior dev at 10 years, I'll be a tech lead at 15 years, I'll be a manager, whatever it is. That's crazy talk in, in tech terms where people stay at, uh, you know, a year and a half as developers at places. And so, um, you know, you can progress very rapidly if you're very aggressive in your career and you actually can prove that you have the skills to do these things. And uh, there's a lot of ways that you can do that. Some is by, as I mentioned, doing trainings, educating your teammates, show, basically doing the job before you have the job. Um, and so that's how I'm gonna, you know, proceed. Um, but that's what I'm looking for next in, in my career. and. Um, you know, that's in the corporate world, outside of the corporate world. That's a whole different thing. I, have to, I talk every year about side projects I'm working on, and that's going to continue to be it. Build up those passive income streams and uh, just really enjoy it. Uh, so anyhow, guys, that's what I had to share today. A lot of you guys asked me about, you know, what I'm looking forward to next in sort of my, my working world, and that's it. So uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching the video. If you're interested in any of my courses in the description below, that's what they call it. There are links where you can get it for discounts as well as um, some books I recommend that every developer read. See you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course. Get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.